Time now to honor an outstanding local coach with the KSBW Golden Whistle Award. Action News uh, Sports Director Drea Blackwell is here with more on who's the winner this time. Yeah, we are so lucky here on the Central Coast. We have not only amazing athletes, but we have those really influential, great coaches to help guide those athletes. And Justin Climo has been both. Climo played basketball at Robert Louis Stevenson when he was in high school and has since returned to the Pirates as the boys basketball coach and the athletic director. On behalf of KSBW and our partners at Taylor Farms, I want to give you the Golden Whistle Award for Coaching Excellence, one of our fantastic coaches here on the Central Coast. So congratulations. Thank you very much. Love is what brings you home. And Justin Climo loves his alma mater. The Stevenson graduate returning to Pebble Beach to not only lead the same Pirates basketball team that he once starred on, but also to oversee the entire Stevenson athletic department. He is a very respected uh, man on campus, uh, as well as being uh, incredibly knowledgeable about a lot of things in life. As the school's athletic director, Coach Climo interacts with every single student on campus. Stevenson students are actually required to play a sport as a part of their PE credits, which means that every single one of them has the chance to work with Coach Climo. It's really encouraging, he cares about what you do and like cares about all the guys on the team. Whether it's in the athletic office, in the classroom, or on the basketball court, Stevenson students know exactly what they have in Coach Climo. I think he's the best coach in the area, in all honesty. He's just super, super honest. Congratulations to Coach Justin Climo, our newest Golden Whistle Award winner. Congratulations again to Coach Climo and to Stevenson High School. We do have more sports coming up. Local schools playing in the Northern California Tournament. Plus, Bryce Harper finally getting that big deal. First, when I get to tonight's sports quiz, who previously held the record for the largest contract in baseball history? I kind of tilted my hand there. Bryce Harper has the new one. Who had the previous record? We'll have the answer in more sports in about 20 minutes. Bay Area News Watch, we have some new information on the woman who is presumed dead following a cliff collapse at San Francisco's Fort Funston last week. She has been identified by loved ones as a 22-year-old from Oakley. Kira Sunshine Scarlett was walking on the beach Friday afternoon with her friend and a dog when a portion of the cliff gave way. Scarlett's friend and her dog were rescued, but Scarlett has yet to be found. In the Sierra, there is a lot of snow, so it probably doesn't come as a surprise that the snowpack is above average for this month. But just how far above normal are we? Action News reporter Vicki Gonzalez has more on the latest snow survey. 
In the El Dorado County town of Phillips, this month's manual snow survey I got comes with more obstacles. Carving out steps, just the beginning. More sweat equity. For a snowshoe cross-country trek. With the wet snow, it's kind of compacted a bit, made easy gliding. Measuring the snow depth. Okay. And water content when the snowpack melts. This location among more than 100 manual and electronic snow surveys statewide. The measuring rod, 12 and a half feet. 80.5, 72 inch core. Piercing the snowpack to touch ground. That number is inches and looks can be deceiving. With an average snow depth at this location at 113 inches, that means I'm standing on roughly just shy of nine and a half feet of snow. But what's more important for the drier months, water content. If we melted all the snow in the field here, we'd get 43.5 inches of water. But higher up, for neighboring Sierra at Tahoe Resort, February is a record. Our previous February snowfall record was 154 inches, and we are just about at 250 today. So that's five inches short of our all-time snowiest month record. It's the current snapshot promising, but subject to change.